So tonight, tiny homes are starting to appear all over the country as a solution for homelessness. But what about here? Leaders in Richmond County are considering it, and now leaders in Aiken are too. Hallie Turner, live in the studio tonight to tell us what that might look like there. Well, Richard, here's exactly what they're talking about. This is a replica of what one man hopes to turn into tiny, 25 tiny homes in Aiken County. And tonight, he was trying to convince city leaders in Aiken to join him. George Clare isn't a builder, but he is a man with a vision. It's got a fully functional bathroom, a kitchen, a sleeping area, and a, a sitting area. He wants to give homeless people a second chance. The real thing is only four times as wide and four times as long. Being able to show people uh, how you would put bathroom facilities, kitchen facilities, sitting and sleeping facilities together in that small of a house. One that's affordable and that's the key thing. His plan is to start with building 25 homes and paying for them with the money he's raising. We're not asking the government to fund this. We're going to build these with private support. All he needs is for the city of Aiken to modify an ordinance to speed the process along. There is a single line requirement in the zoning ordinance that says there shall be no dwelling built less than 450 square feet. And this is, as I mentioned earlier, about 175 square feet. In order for us to have a hope of building these and providing this service to the community, that has to change. The tiny homes would come along with some rules, from job help to money management training. The plan is to get people back on their feet. And this is the first time we've had a pretty solid plan to bring to city council. Housing is a basic need, affordable housing. She says it's a good idea, but there's still some work to do. There's good things coming. <laughs> There's some good things. There's, there's good information that's been shared with me. There's some, there's some solutions, but at least we need to bring the people in the room and let's talk about those solutions and how we can establish a process. Now, some of those homes that you just saw are some of the tiny homes that are in Savannah. And on top of modifying, modifying the zoning ordinance to allow for tiny homes, Claire is asking the city to help his nonprofit find some land for those homes as well. A project we'll keep watching. Sounds like a solution. Hallie, thanks. To